Good afternoon. Today is Monday, February 5th, 2018. I'm Jacob Murphy. The Eagles have won the Super Bowl. And I'm Angel Ortiz. Will the Patriots all retire now? The news is next. to our Wildcat wrestlers who won the Re Weezer Invitational over the weekend. We had nine wrestlers in the title matches and six won the team scoring 210 points. This is a prestigious win in our path to another state championship. Lady Wildcats, thanks for another exciting season of women's basketball. It's time for you to celebrate the end of the year banquet, which will be tonight at 6 p.m. in the library. Make sure you get your uniforms, uniforms turned in. If you have any questions, check with the coach. What does it take to become a member of the Na Columbia chapter of the National Honor Society? Attend to the upcoming student information sessions to find out. Drop by Miss Pixler's room A201 during the invitation on Thursday, February 15th after school on Fe Friday, February 16th at 2.45 p.m. To be considered for a membership, you must be a sophomore, junior, or senior. Hold a cumulative GPA of 3.6 or higher and demonstrate qualities of character, leadership, and service. Young Adult Literature is a new semester-long elective course for the 2018-2019 school year. In this class, you will read award-winning books written for teens, explore new genres, authors, and titles, choose the books you read for the class, discuss real-world real world topics, themes, and issues, and experience book club-style reading through literature, literature circles. For more information, see Mrs. Pixler in A201. Attention all junior girls. Distinguished Young Women of Nampa's program is coming up and would love all junior girls who are interested in getting scholarship money for college, meeting new friends, and having a wonderful life changing opportunity to become to our meeting in the cafeteria tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Again, all junior girls from CHS, NHS, and SHS must join us for Distinguished Young Women of Nampa tomorrow at school at 3 o'clock in Columbia's cafeteria. Today's activities, girls basketball banquet at 6 p.m. in the library. We'll be right back after this. Today's family is by Dr. Kim Carroll. Your smile is the first person. Make yours and see Dr. G see Dr. Carroll today. 52 is high, 55, level 35. Tomorrow's high, 53, level 32. Back to you, Angel. Thanks, Nate. There was a Super Bowl comeback, but the New England Patriots were on the losing side. MVP Nick Foles threw for three touchdowns and caught another as the Eagles defeated the Patriots, 41 to 33 in Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis on Sunday night to win the franchise's first NFL championship since 1960. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady was undeniably brilliant, throwing, a fi throwing for 505 yards, a Super Bowl record, and three touchdowns, but was strip-sacked by Brandon Graham with 2.09 to play. After the game, Brady, after the game, Brady head coach Belichick and tight and Rob Gronkowski were all talking about retiring. And what does a city do after winning a Super Bowl? Celebrate, of course. Philadelphia fans took to the streets to celebrate the Eagles' Super Bowl victory on Sunday night and kept celebrating into the morning, and some fans celebrated too hard. Police in the riot gear were patrolling the streets, but they haven't been able to prevent fans from climbing light poles and breaking windows. Some injuries have been reported. Police have not released any information about any arrests. The city attempted to take precautionary measures, such as lubricating light poles to prevent fans from climbing them. But in some cases, that failed to keep fans from climbing atop of them, and in some cases, poles fell under the fans' weight. The SAT word of the day is disparity, which means lack of similarity or equality, difference. You could use it this way. Although both will get you home, there is a large disparity between riding a motorcycle and driving a car. Thanks for watching, and, and live, live the, the Wildcat wild way. way. 